Hello folks. Well you know as some of you know we're going to be launching something really big here pretty soon. It's going to have six motors D size and one G80 7T. And in order for that to work I need to try and test if my igniter that I built will ignite seven of these at once. Now just for this test right now today, I'm using the ring. I was originally going to use the ring and that's what we had had to do back in the day because the wires you see on these are so short. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is test your continuity. I'm using a continuity tester here and I come down here and test these and make sure these all work. Okay, the next thing I really want to do is make sure that the ones that I'm going to use actually work. So I'm going to test every one of these. Okay, those are all good. Now the great thing about these is I don't need to make a ring because the wire is so long. These are the Sonic uh, igniters. Since the wires are so long, I can twist them all together and make one mechanical connection. I won't have to have that ring, see. Just wire them all together. And that's, that's going to be great. In case you had never seen how this works, we will stick a, uh, I'll show you how these go into the rocket motor. You stick it in and make sure it touches. And then push in the rubber plug. And that's it. So we're going to do that with all those. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to test it now. I'm going to put the solder of the ring on these. These test good continuity. Uh, instead of making all this alligator clip stuff and everything, we're going to do it this way. I'm going to test it and we're going to see what happens if they all light up at once. Because they have to light up all at once. The resistance on the Sonic. 1.8. The resistance on the old version igniter is 0.9. So what we've learned is the resistance is higher on the Sonic 2, the Pro Series, versus the original ones. I'm going to go ahead and test it to prove what I already think is going to happen, and that is this one is going to light first, and that one will go second because it has more resistance. And I'm running this on only uh, a fully charged 2200 milliamp LiPo, which is actually showing at about 14 volts uh, higher than this battery because this isn't even charged. But uh, I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to go ahead and turn the arm switch on. And we have a green light. We're going to go over here. And I'm going to count this down and fire, and we're going to see which igniter lights first and how it ignites. Three, two, one, fire. Well, as you can see, the Pro Series really uh, sets a nice, nice fire and does just perfect on this battery. Um, I uh, can obviously use this battery, but just for safety, I'm going to go ahead and use the, uh, the higher amperage. Uh, unneeded, though, as you can see, that worked really well. Definitely proves my point. The lower resistance uh, was going to fire first and then this one. But, the Pro Series really did fire better. Okay, I'm going to arm it. And we are armed. Alright, on the countdown of three, two, one, fire.
They're all glowing. All right, with the bigger amperage battery, uh, let's go ahead and try it and see what happens to those babies. Here we go. Three, two, one. As you can see, for safety, I've gone ahead and uh, shunted these two power wires together and I'm going to put the rocket motors in a metal case until it's time to launch. Uh, the Estes rocket may need a wire longer because as you see, that's, uh, that goes way inside there. So um, that's a long wire, that has to go way in there, at least that far, so I'm going to probably have to lengthen that. Uh, that's how it looks. Well, both batteries ignite all igniters at once, being in parallel, and that's logical and that's good. Second, the bigger 15 amp battery will ignite all seven better than the 2.2 amp battery. And three, the sonic igniters are definitely my choice with their firepower and longer wires. That also eliminates soldering of the alligator clips, extra handling on the delicate things, and then wire rings. This creates a better and a more reliable circuit. So when Bud gets the rocket finished and sends it to me, I'll feel real confident when we get ready to launch that everything is going to go because we're carrying a very unusual payload and it's going to be very interesting. Well, thanks a lot for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed this and if you're messing around with rockets, maybe this will help you too. Take care and we'll talk to you soon.